talk a little bit about these strategic partnerships that you'd form to compete for the UMass online? Um, no, what we're going to look to do is meet uh, a need that we have with adult learners, not only in Massachusetts, but throughout the country. And what I did tonight was lay out a vision for that. And we, were, we will be talking to the campuses, we'll be talking to uh, leadership on all the campuses, uh, talking to business and industry, trying to develop an uh, online program that can compete with so many of the other public universities in America that have uh, uh, really gotten out ahead online. It seemed like you would, you must have talked about doing something like this in 2017. Uh, it had come out that, I mean, you had hired uh, somebody to be in charge of the online program. Right. What's different now? Um, well, you have to study and analyze whether or not uh, what the need is in Massachusetts and what the need is around the country. Study and analyze best practices for delivery of services. We wanted to talk to all the chances because all the chances want to keep their online programs that they presently have as well. So that was part of this discussion and part of the equation. If we can establish more efficient ways of getting back to students, for example, in a 72-hour period, then the campuses may want to use that service. So this is a matter of uh, doing study and analysis first, and now we're going to talk to the uh, folks on all the campuses and develop a, a, a way to reach adult learners that present we're not reaching. And this would have a different name. Uh, it would, it, for example, I gave, uh, I showed uh, Penn State has a Penn State uh, a global campus. Uh, uh, Purdue has a Purdue Global. So we're going to do some more study and analysis of what a name should be. We're going to talk to folks on the campuses and uh, before we uh, move forward. How much would it cost to scale something like this and give it the sort of national profile that you said you're aiming to achieve? Well, we don't have uh, we don't have estimates of how much it would cost, but UMass. Online started when the university borrowed money to start an online program. Now it's a hundred million dollar program uh, and returns millions of dollars to the campuses. We're going to use the same model that was used in order to create UMass Online in the beginning. So, are you as UMass prepared to spend the kind of money that places like SNHU spend? I mean, they're spending hundreds of millions. Yeah, well, it, you, you build towards that. I mean, it, you you build a platform. Uh, you build the services you need, and then you begin the process. But uh, uh, Southern New Hampshire University didn't start out; they, they grew over a period of time. I think it's important for UMass to get into uh, to get into the game. But no, we, we, we're not. You know, Southern New Hampshire University is a eight hundred million dollar operation right now. So, what what kind of money are you anticipating that UMass would have to spend? Well, we're we're going to we're gonna analyze uh, what it is. We would likely borrow some money and return the money. Uh, as we brought in revenue. It's a business model that works, has worked for UMass, and it's a business model that works uh, for other leaders around the country. I, I cited some of them, uh, but we need to get into uh, online, and we need to reach the uh, adult learners that are looking for our services. And the UMass reputation, we think, is a great reputation which should help us be successful. In his comments about my, Mount Ida, Chairman Manning mentioned that the university would be in position for future acquisitions. Is expansion on your agenda? Uh, I, I think my comments spoke for themselves in the sense that there is disruption that is going on in New England. I think I set out statistics that are alarming. Uh, I have said publicly there will be more closings of uh, universities in uh, Massachusetts, in New England, and indeed around the country. And uh, UMass wants to be in a position to play a positive role, but that, that has a lot to do with what the uh, business model is. It's a lot of work that goes into making that kind of a determination. Is UMass looking at Hampshire College? Uh, no, I mean, it, we're, we're not looking at Hampshire College. It's a complex, whether or not a university would uh, acquire another university is a complex uh, process that one goes through. So um, that is not something that uh, I have seen any data on that would make it get me believe that, uh, that that would be good for UMass at this point. But it's early in the process. Thank you very much. Thank you.